all for the all for the commentator scene. Here we are. Real game one. Coming in, we got Gary Too Scary versus BZ. This is a quite the game to start with, really. <coughs> uh, no spoilers, but both these guys are Saskatchewan PR. I hope that's not a surprise to anybody. And yeah, this is a storied matchup for sure, Squire. <laughs> BZ having uh, famously lost to many a zoner in his time, including Gary. But I know that uh, in recent times he's been doing quite well, including on Wi-Fi. Um, I do like the ZSS pick. And Gary, man, he just gets down. Snake is a character. Is that Barry going to be it? Yeah, with the sides on town. Wow. That's a really cute option, actually, when Snake's in the corner. I like that a lot. Anyway. Gary doing his best to uh, make some things happen, but it's really tough to deal with uh, BZ's item play, in my opinion. You know, all his practice playing Rob, among many other characters, um, it's really enhanced his item play and made it so hard to, like, outplay him with grenades. And yeah... Flip kick just makes it back for free, avoiding that Nikita. Gary gets back down, but not without uh, some efforts from BZ. The F tilt again does take it. Lots of horizontal killing moves on town. What a surprise. <laughs> so these trades now really working out for Gary, which uh, usually doesn't happen with... <laughs> Did he sticky him? I couldn't quite catch that, but nice job getting the C4. Yeah, loads of trades this second stock. Ooh. This is going to be tricky. Does manage to get back. Just Oh, but neutral air of all things. And yeah, everyone make sure to multi-twitch. Uh, I assume it's JJ's channel. Ooh, bad DI on the boost kick. You can't have that happen. Like, this, that's one of the very first things you got to learn in this matchup. So, stocks tied up, 70% deficit, and that's going to make these trades so much better for Gary. Thankfully, BZ kind of abusing his absurdly good disadvantage with ZSS to try and make something happen, but it's a bit of a, a bit of a wall to climb. Yeah. Up tilt anti air takes game one for Gary to scary. So pretty clean game one, but you know, a lot of things can happen. BZ has like maybe a million characters he might switch to, though I don't know that he will. Um and <laughs> he's just so good at the adaptation online. He's not going to get up tilted like that again, I'm sure. Um, I think, you know, it was really impressive just Gary's corner pressure was how he got most of those stocks, whether a proper ledge trap or, you know, hitting him out of the corner, as happened on that last stock where he tried to boost kick out of the, or flip kick out of the corner, got up tilted for it. Responding to that corner pressure is going to be key at least for this second game coming up. Yeah, I think overall his ledge trapping Squire has greatly improved. Hey, Scrump. We're coming into game two now here. So we see the wolf. Not a overly surprising switch. And on Stadium. Quick lead for Gary, but doesn't mean much.
Love the laser pressure from BZ. Yeah, he sneaks in a back air to escape, though. Oh, that was a lucky, uh, lucky grenade. I didn't think it was going to explode, but BZ must have known. Tries to read the roll, but doesn't quite get it. <laughs> Weaves around the Nikita. That's tough as Wolf, but I like the... Uh, I do like the shine stall there. You know, it may reflect the Nikita, and if it doesn't, it mixes up his recovery. So, tidy lead for BZ right now. He took the first stock with an up smash, and now he's just, you know, bits and pieces. Oh, but... Rather aggressive up air, actually, from Gary. So just in a moment, BZ sitting at a crucial percent on his second stock and Gary down to his last. I really like this pre pressure with Snake on the platform. I actually think that Snake being on the platform is one of his uh, worst disadvantage states if it's being pressured properly, um, which is hard to find with Snake, a bad disadvantage state. Gets the grab, down throw. Oh! Parries the getup attack into up tilt. Beautiful stock, but he's at 123%. Oh, the glancing blow just barely misses. Back air, takes it. That's gotta be it, yeah. So, game two to BZ. Even, st even games. Now, Gary's not going to switch, uh, <laughs> I'm quite sure. I think Gary switching to another character against BZ would be a bit of a misstep. But we will see. You know, actually, I don't know whether it's best of three or best of five, but I'm assuming everything today is best of five. That's, that's what I would guess. Yeah, Squire confirms everything today is best of five. So that's good. We're going to get to see at least two more games of this. And yeah, it looks like characters are all the same going back. We'll see which stage Gary takes us to. Right back to PS2. Fair enough. I wonder what he intends to adjust. A little bit of sparring to start this game off. Mostly close quarters, interestingly. <laughs> Fair on the platform. That doesn't get anything off of it, but boy, is that funny. Um, BZ, you know, he spaces it around the close quarters option Snake has, but then just holds shield and gets grabbed. Thankfully, doesn't hurt much for it, but he's gonna have have to be careful of those grabs for sure. Ooh, tricky recovery. Manages to parry all of the F tilt. I really thought he was going to pop that C4 sooner. <laughs> Hopes to maybe reflect the up smash, get an early cheese kill. Yeah. The down throw up tilt, he was at 170 after the hit, so that's a confirm. Only at 87%. That's hardly even kill percent. Yeah, gosh, an up F smash won't take it. So, healthy lead for, uh, for Snake here. Ah, yeah, I see that. BC Snake, Gary Wolf. Weird, and they're using each other's tags, too. And just, uh... <laughs> I 
Yeah, that's a bit better. And so, just like that, Beezy cleaning up the deficit and even, you know, getting a small lead of his own. <laughs> Both tilting away from the other. Tries to read his landing with a flash. We saw him do that um, just this week in Grand Finals against Bug Doctor, if I recall correctly. Which uh, was a pretty hype thing to see. Ooh, hits him with a grenade! <laughs> and the back air. There it is, just catching his landing. Bit of a lazy landing from Gary there, I think. Snake always has a lot more he can do to mix that up. Alright. Oh, no ledge trap. Tries to start something, but then just gives it up. Lets him back on stage. But another up tilt anti air. That's his C4 on the platform. I'm sure BZ's aware of it. Oh. The back air goes high. Oh, <laughs> whiffs the F tilt, but manages to get a punish anyway with that up smash. The lead's building up, but not enough to feel healthy yet. You know, Snake and Wolf are about the same same distance from dying, really. <laughs> Gary not falling prey to the platform pressure just yet. Ooh, that grenade could have been big, and now this lead is hardly a lead at all. Oh, just barely hits that up smash. Gary whiffs the grab, and game three goes to Beezy's Wolf. So uh, you'll notice that swapping the players has put Snake out of frame. I think he's a little bit scared of Wolf. Wolf looks pretty spooky. He's got the whole going on. He just can't look. Can't bear to look. It makes sense. I'd be scared. I'd be scared of Beezy's Wolf looking at me like that. Gosh. It's a scary thing. Thank you, Scrump. Appreciate that a lot. And so, we're on Gary's counter pick again. His last one, he just went right back to PS2, but he's lost on that stage twice in a row now. I, I'm not sure what adjustment he needs to make to make that stage work, but if he sees something, he sees something, I'm sure. Beezy's Wolf uh, doing quite well against Snake, though. You know, the way that he's able to uh, win trades. Lots of Nair usage, but really effective usage. And uh, the way he's spacing around Gary's options is really clever as well. You know, a lesser player would be getting those up tilt anti airs way, way more often than Beezy's has been hit by them because... It's not like Gary can't sniff them out. He's just spacing so incredibly well. So, we're going back. And it does look like we're going back to PS2 from what I can tell. Yeah. Here we are. So, Gary's last chance to figure something out. Ooh, back throw dash attack. Ooh, big damage from the ledge trap. He's got something going on, that's for sure. Doesn't get both hits of the F tilt. That's too bad. Tries to read the roll in with the fair. I do like that, but Beez is not one to panic roll like that very often. <gasps> oh, that was really clever waiting for the flash like that. I think he was hoping to spike him. That would have been crazy. This is, in fact, that one commentator from SKL5, uh, RGFLB Sexy. That is part of my esteemed resume. You may also know me as the uh, commentator from SKL2 who talked about Captain L winning with Jigglypuff, as you may have heard in the SKL trailer 3,000 times. <clears throat> but 
We're about a minute in. No stocks taken yet. Oh, just runs under and gets that up tilt. You know, I have noticed uh, Gary's cooking his grenades for a rather short fuse, and I think that's clever because he knows how much BZ likes to catch them. That still doesn't mean that BZ is not going to be able to get a lot out, out of them, but it makes them a lot less threatening. I believe it was a back air to take it off, and now more trades. This is... Oh, gets the down throw. Good parry there. You guys ever think about the fact that they buffed Snake's weak up tilt? <laughs> Good up smash. Snake didn't really have an option to hit fast in front of him right there while he was landing, and so BZ knew he was safe. Not a clean bear, but still sends him quite far. <laughs> up tilt of his own, doesn't quite take it, but... Um, BZ's really showing his pressure really well here. I like that dare. Catches the spot dodge. Yeah. Not surprised he missed the DI on the flat, or er, on... Is it Firewolf? It's not even Fire. On Firewolf there. Um, going for Firewolf kills is an option BZ's going for a lot more recently, and a lot of Wolves are. I love it. It's such a, such a slept on kill move. Ooh, Gary doesn't get the doesn't get the disable. Uh, I don't know what it is. The deactivation on Nikita to kill the Firewolf, but does manage to get the ledge trap. Down throw flash. No, misses the spike and the game for it. Oh, Gary knows that that was not his game. But <laughs> now going into game five, BZ's counter pick. That is a. That is an unfortunate way to end the game. I <laughs> I was sure that was it, but just barely manages to get the hitbox sending away rather than the spike. Unfortunate indeed. <laughs> but, I mean, it was clear who was in control of that game. Oh, BZ's not going to be upset. He, he knows what he's going for and knows the risks when he goes for a move like that. Looks like he wants to go just right back. No questions asked. Again, he was in control. Uh, his advantage was spectacular, and I think he was trying to send a message. And honestly, I think he sent that message with the down throw flash, even if he ended up losing for it. You know, BZ just with a very clean advantage that past game, and Gary, not really, doesn't even hit uh, Nikita Edgeguard, you know? When I know that Gary has what it takes to time his deactivations and hit just about any recovery with Nikita. And here we're seeing that impeccable spacing that I was talking about before. Oh, but he does land the sticky. Oh, he nared through it. Oh, that was so clever. I wonder if BZ knew that that would work. Gary going high, but that just puts him in place for another landing catch. Doesn't hit the up smash that time. Ooh. Just throws the grenade straight up. Okay, so first stock to Gary. There's an up tilt. Goes low. Easy tries to read the roll and then just does it again. Hits that up smash, catching the attempt at punishing. Classic wolf strategy of smashing after a smash attack to try to catch them punishing your unpunishable sma smash attack. A lot of get-up attacks on down throws from BZ. And I know that Gary caught the very first one with a parry. We'll see if uh, BZ keeps going for them. Ooh. 
Good down smash. He knows he's not going to be able to air dodge to ledge without a really bad angle there. Oh, the explosion hits him off the shield. Yeah, BZ knows that what Gary wants the most right now is to up tilt his approaches. And you can see him just trying to avoid the up tilt best he can. Another flash. This one won't kill, er, Firewolf, but this one won't kill, but now he's got Gary up in the air. His own up tilt takes it. We were both at up tilt kill percent. Gary was just 80% higher. <laughs> yeah. F tilt doesn't quite catch. Get the kill, rather. <laughs> His Nair does. Man. He's been playing around Nikita so well, and then just Neutral getups into the up smash. I don't blame him for that. <laughs> it's easy to get caught by that. So here we are, last stock game five, in a set that, by all accounts, should have been BZ's last game. Gary doing his damn best to m make use of this second lease on Lysi was granted. Ooh, the down tilt just sneaks under. Sticky's Wolf. That's scary. Oh, but the Sticky s switched over onto Gary. And back onto Wolf. Air dodges through, but spooky situation. Just back and forth. Does the back air take it? Wow! Reads him going high. Manages to clutch out the set. 3-2 for BZ. Well done. That was a... Uh